It is real a pleasure to be with you at your 26th Planetary Congress in a great tradition, in a good community, in an excellent spirit, with precise achievements as presented by your president just now. And it's a pleasure to be now, so to say, a kind of honorary member of this beautiful community. So the community which is not very old. It started with ideas and aspirations in, uh, in 85. In 91, as the president mentioned, you are awarded Hans Dietrich Genscher with the crystal helmet. To be quite frank, I didn't know how a crystal helmet looks like. I thought it might be something similar to the crystal skull of the old Aztecs, yeah? Uh, but uh, it's different, uh, impressing nevertheless. And at that time, you awarded it uh, to Hans Dietrich Genscher, which never was a space explorer, but dedicated and interesting and a great supporter. At that time, my colleague, over the years, my friend. And I think you awarded him for the very simple reason that he stands one of, uh, for one of the different group which we all need to be successful in our joint efforts. Many scientists, engineers, administrators, Politicians, great national labs like DLR in our country, they all are cooperating to make a dream come true, go beyond boundaries, be present in space, discover the unknown, set new frontiers. And uh, just in integrating this community in this group of the space explorers seems to me an excellent idea. You are in some way spearheading what the space could present to the rest of the world, to the public, to the normal citizen. You are the persons, the space explorers, which are looked at. Over the years, we had in Germany excellent representatives. Some of them I see here in the room. Uh, not all of them. Uh, we had always many applicants. In the early 80s, these were about 2,500 applicants, if I have it right in my mind, Herr Messerschmidt. Uh, over this time, we have developed criteria, physical fitness. They should be excellent scientists. And they should be dedicated. And we, as well as many other nations, were happy always to find the right men and women for these challenges. These were smaller nations, these were bigger nations, these were industrialized nations. Uh, there was Malaysia, there was Saudi Arabia, uh, there was, of course, Japan and Russia and the United States, Romania, for example, Mr. President. So, uh, from all the nations, they tried to find the best candidates. And beyond the criteria of fitness, of expertise, of dedication. There was one point which we always had to bear in mind. Coming back from space to Earth, they should convey the message to the normal citizens. They should, with their charism, with their fascination, create the spirit in which a sustainable and long-lasting cooperation is possible. And this is only possible if it's supported 
by just two normal citizens. And it was very impressive. Uh, okay, they were busy. Uh, you, are now, you now mentioned that uh, many of your colleagues are going to schools just to present the ideas. Nothing is so impressive like the personal confrontation with a man or a woman which is convinced of what she or he is doing. And at that time, there were sometimes, I admit that, doubts about the man man's spaceflight. And this is even a point in which the political support is key to any success. When we brought up the idea in this time to have the space shuttle in Cologne, just here in Cologne, uh, some of our wise colleagues said, what a silly idea. And even if some thousand people would come and look to the space shuttle, which was in space, what would that mean? DLA had organized it in a very professional way. And it did, it did come thousands, and it came as 10,000. There were hundred thousands. In the end, I think there were more than 250,000 people which visited the space shuttles fascinated by the idea this equipment was in space. And sometimes to create this spirit, it can be done. It is something beyond our sure expectations. And we did it. And we show it. And we enjoy it. This is something which is really important for the development. We are proud and happy that we have excellent engineers and scientists. But if we fail to fascinate the rest of the world, we will not be successful. This is a huge and joint and long-term endeavor. And we need the understanding and the support of the people. This period of time was not always easy. Uh, the president mentioned it here carefully and by the way. This was not always easy, and we had very critical times. It started as a race, as a space race, in the 50s, Sputnik, a year after Explorer. This was east against west against east, each one challenging the other. USA uh, felt that they are the prime technology nation in the world. And there, the Russians were first in space, and the first man in space, Yuri Garain, the first uh, woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova, the first space station, manned space station, crewed space station, uh, Salute. But in '69, the Americans had the first man of the moon. I think uh, the mayor has mentioned it. But the Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and this, of course, was again that impressive presentation of what can be done. In the beginning 70s, all the nations had the problem, all the big nations, to cut down their budgets. The space budgets were cut down sharply within a limited period of time. They were looking for partners. At that time, ESA was created, 75. The first weather satellite, ESA Meteosat. Ariane 1, some few years after, in the 70s. According to the unseasonable drive of our French friends, with the support of the other European nations, we created a series of launches up to Ariane 4, Ariane 5, which in an utterly competitive market, even now access successful. And in this time we learned 
cooperation for such big uh, projects is the only way to success. This was sometimes difficult. Our American friends had offered us to take part uh, in the construction of uh, Space Lab. Some years later, they withdrew the offer. They felt uh, that uh, their standalone, rather monopolistic strategy might be promising in the world. But years after, we joined in the efforts for Space Lab, for Columbus, and now for the ISS. And we, if we are looking around in the world just now, most relevant projects are internationally cooperative, we cooperate in nearly all relevant fields in space. Missions to the space, basic research, the sun, the several missions, the planets, probes on Mars and Venus and others, visit to the comets, to the asteroids, a whole bunch of experiences up to the look into the deep space and need, that means into the deep past of the history of our universe. Rosat, Hubble Telescope. Meanwhile, families of experts have assembled with complementary skills, uh, with an excellent network into their home administrations to support their work. The most economic field, telecommunication, internet access, broadcasting, long-range telephony, services, in which our British friends early entered into the whole field, which are now infrastructures indispensable for our daily life. GPS, now Galileo, as an infrastructure. And this all in the understanding that we better do it together. And the mayor and the president, they have mentioned they uh, look back, back to, the, to the earth, earth observation, climate, greenhouse effect, ozone, where we did not only understand the mechanisms, but we did scope with the challenges, and we are just stepwise overcoming the problem of the ozone hole. We observe the rainforests. We observe the polar ice. We have technologies which uh, can see structures of less than one meter at a distance of 800 kilometers. Such, under such understanding better what is going on on Earth and how we can cope with the challenges. And ISS. It's an interesting idea when, uh, ESA, uh, when uh, DLR speaks about uh, the task for ISS beyond 2020 services. This is an interesting approach. Time enough to develop it. Till now the decisions are up to 20,000, uh, 2020, 20,000 a little bit later, up to 2020, uh, the financing is secured and the whole organization stands. But what happens beyond? This is a unique form of cooperation of many nations. We do hope that one day China and India might join that so there is truly an international endeavor just developing to new tasks. We started with uh, microgravity and now we are going step by beyond. 
ISS. What happens next? Going back to the moon? As President Obama said just uh, two years ago, going to the asteroids, manned flight to asteroids in 2025 or so, in the mid-30s, sending men and women to the Mars. The future is open. And what can be done depends on us, depends on your community, depends on their vision and imagination, on the preparedness to speak with everybody, to spread around the, the ideas, to communicate the visions, to serve the needs, to solve the problems, to decide about alternative, to provide, to provide information we need. And thus, my congratulations to your first 26 years. It's a good beginning. And as I understand, the community is growing. Not only the number of astronauts, of taikonauts, of cosmonauts, but as well the number of uh, those which are members in AZ. And I do hope that the good spirit of your com community spreads around. Now it's a Congress. In the days to come around this beautiful city of Cologne, that later on, if you are at home. At that sense, the international networks will, pre will prevail. Beyond all uh, com competition between the different states, the idea of cooperation is nowhere better founded than in science. Because we need that we need the skills and the funds as well for big projects, for nuclear fusion, for accelerators, for the internet as a technical achievement to network between all nations without boundaries. And in space, as one of the big and fascinating challenges to mankind, as a chance to make our world habitable in the future as well, as a way to understand which problems we might have created, which problems might arise, how can we solve them in time. And thus, I wish you all the best for the next 26 years. What happens in the time, nobody knows precisely. Forecasts are difficult, especially if you are talking about the future. However, in this good spirit, with the decisions which we have taken, with the ideas which are on the table, with the good spirit in which we approach them, I think this will be a good time. And then, 26 years hence, let's sit together again. Let's see what uh, we and our successors have achieved. Let's make plans for the next period of time in an open future, in a peaceful world, in a sustainable uh, earth for which we are responsible. Thank you so much indeed on a beautiful Congress for all of you, and thank you for being a member. I enjoy it. <laughs>